Amid tensions in the Korean Peninsula, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un called for his navy to ramp up war readiness and said it will become part of the regime's nuclear deterrent. Kim also criticized Seoul, Washington and Tokyo for their plans to hold trial-level military drills. Our North Korean affairs correspondent Lee Dae-yeon has more. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un criticized the leaders of South Korea, the U.S. and Japan for their plans for trilateral joint military drills. According to the regime's state-run media on Tuesday, Kim Jong-un marked the day of Navy by inspecting the naval headquarters near Pyongyang with his daughter. In a ceremonial speech there, Kim mentioned the Camp David Trilateral Summit where Seoul, Washington and Tokyo pledged to regularize joint military exercises. During the speech, Kim referred to South Korea by using the country's full name for the first time. He also called the Korean Peninsula the, quote, most dangerous zone for nuclear war, citing Washington's deployment of strategic assets in the South. He urged Pyongyang's Navy to brace for any possible warfare at all times. Kim called for Navy's overwhelming and preemptive offensive against any unexpected conflict, while promising it, quote, will be provided with new means of arms and will be a component of the state nuclear deterrent. The regime's leader also presented some of the strategies for the Navy to get into a stronger position than its enemy so that it could control the state of war. Meanwhile, Kim's appearance with his daughter in the media was the first in 100 days since when Kim was monitoring the preparation for the spy satellite launch on May 16. Also following Kim on Monday were the vice chairman of the Central Military Commission of the Northeast ruling Workers' Party Lee Byung-chul and Defense Minister Kang Sun-nam. It was the first time that Kim Jong-un has visited the naval headquarters for the day of Navy since he took power in 2012. Lee Hyun, Arirang News.